In Halo Infinite's Forge, some objects are destructible, like this bookcase. However, if we get a new bookcase, it only takes two shots to be broken, or even just falling over. Now that isn't very applicable for when you want to be able to create an interaction. Because of course, what you want to do is to scale the object's health to determine how many shots you want to fire. Much like this wooden or this metal, what looks to be non-door, that reveals an enemy. This destructible object, such as this bookcase, can be destroyed with two bullets from a pistol. Right? However, there's a problem in trying to increase that health so that, say, three bullets or four bullets destroys that object. Meaning that in Halo Infinite's Forge, destructible objects have a limit to how much so called health they have. So to change this, I've encoded via the scripting language a new health system for objects. Now, admittedly, it doesn't produce as nice animated destruction as the wooden bookcase. However, it is completely changeable, meaning that you can set the health and the damage it takes to whatever weapon or how much health you want to give it. Let me show you now how I've done this and how you can copy this. So in the forge brain of this prefab, which is going to be found in the description below, you load up and you get this almost spider web picture. And it looks like a spider web because what I've done is I've referenced the same object at the beginning and of course at the end of the script. So let's just have a quick tour of the script to work out what it's doing so we can get an idea of how it functions and how you can manipulate it to whatever you might need. Let's just start off with what I'm defining. So at the top here, I'm defining the object. This one here, I'm defining the health of the object and I've created a custom name for my health bar, which I've called health. Okay. So going through the initial steps, first off, we declare a variable, declare a number variable with the name health and with the initial value of 50. So what we need to look at is what's happening. What we're trying to do is damage an object to destroy it. So we pull in the on object damage node, which is the event that's taking place. We then say what that object is, which of course is our metal pallet, which is also the so-called door we're using. And then we ask questions about what is the attacking object. And in this case, the object is a player because players are was in, in Halo Infinite Forge are counted as objects. So there you go, there's that one. And then we say, how much is the damage amount? As in what, how much mathematical damage is being given to the object? And so that, is determined by this result, mathematical addition, and this one down here. Now, before we get excited, we need to say, what are these mathematical operators doing? So this first one is taking the number five and adding it to this damage amount down here. 
and then that coming through to up subtract where it's subtracting from this get number variable which of course is health so let's just, just clear the screen so currently we've got here of five and this number is 50 over here so obviously the result here will be 45. That then feeds into this value, which of course is now setting the variable number once again of our health variable to this new number of 45. It then goes through with that number and ask a true and false question by looking at this comparable value up here. And what that's comparing is this box, which once again is whatever value this identifier is, which currently we have set it to 45, and compares that with this number, which is zero. This leads into saying, if this object is equal to zero, so currently it's 45, we do nothing. So that's the if false statement there. However, if this object is equal to zero, as in the variable we've got here, which is health, is equal to zero, that then sends down the if true path, which is delete the object, which we go back to this palette, and then obviously then delete this palette, which then the script will then wait five seconds for it to then reset the number variable over here back to our original score of 50. which then simply it spawns the object, which is once again, our object palette. Amongst all our scripting code, we have this print to number operation. And that's simply printing or printing out to the kill feed, this subtraction result, which of course is how much health does the object have? So first shot is 45, then goes to 40, and so on, all the way to zero, where it goes down this branch and deletes it. These operators are good for debugging to check that the maths of what we're doing is working and to display on screen. So if I now hop out of this, and relaun in, I dash over to our object, I'm going to give some pot shots, this is the debug value of what we're spitting out, and it's spitting out shots, and after zero, it it is destroyed. Then it waits for five seconds and then spawns back in. I hope that this information is useful and hopefully you can use this newfound knowledge of mathematical operators acting on objects. Might be helpful in your new map creations whilst playing and building inside Halo Forge. So why do I need 
the code to create, make this object, this palette, destroyable, rather than putting the code on the bookcase where it does have a health because we can shoot it twice for it to be destroyed. Surely the question of, I could just increase the bookcase's health to a number like 50, and then it might take 50 shots to destroy. And unfortunately, through testing, it was found that even though I set the object's health, the bookcase's health, to 50, it only took two bullets from the pistol to destroy, even though it health had still 50, or in that case, it was actually 40, because two shots minus uh, five, two fives minus each from it, from 50. And so it was registering 40 as its health, even though the object was destroyed. And unfortunately, to that point, I couldn't then shoot the bookcase to reduce its health more because it only had two, because it was destroyed. You can't destroy an object that's already been destroyed. That's a limitation of the Halo Forge Infinite Engine. So I decided to create a new object and put the health of the script we've just seen. Now, I could have chose the door or any object. However, the object actually must have zero health or essentially is indestructible, such as a wall or a floor or any object that is in the destructible menu. So here's a list of all our destructibles. Obviously there's the bookcase. All these objects cannot be used as destructible objects that you shoot at because they have already a value of how much health they have. Whereas we just take any object, like a bench, that isn't a destructible object and therefore has a health of zero, which means the script needs to be imported onto that object to give it a pseudo health for it to then be destroyed and then to respawn again. If you enjoyed watching and learning about how to create damageable objects in Halo Infinite's forges, then please feel free to leave a thumbs up and in the comments below, ask what would you like next for me to create? Now, this script will be found in the comments down below on Halo Waypoint for you to download and play around with. If you enjoyed this Halo step-by-step -step tutorial, on how to script inside Halo Infinite Forge, then please do consider subscribing for more scripting tutorials and other Halo Forge content.